Okay. Hello. Welcome to Oblivion. What are you doing playing Oblivion? Well, I played a mod yesterday. It's called the Dungeons of Ivalon. And I... Oh, it was such a good mod. I thought that I had to show it off. Even though Skyrim is a day away, and even though Skyrim is within touching distance for me, it arrived a day early. Which is kind of annoying, actually. It shouldn't be annoying, but it is. So anyway, we're just going to go through this mod, because I can, so do forgive me. It's... Uh, I've never done a Let's Play before. This could be horrible, or it could be pretty good. And this is dark. I need to... I need to check something. I need to check my options, and... Oh, I don't know if this is going to actually... Uh, makes it brighter. Okay. Okay, fair enough. We're going to do that. It'll make it better for YouTube. So, the Dungeons of Ivalon. Uh, what do I say about this mod? It's very atmospheric. So, I'm going to be using torches. And I'm just going to play through it. I'm going to be walking through it. If you want the backstory, basically we've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. And a little breadcrumb trail has led me, my character, to this tower with a hidden dungeon beneath it. So, of course, we're going to be going through it. Because that's what we do, right? It's oblivion. You go through dungeons. And you fight some monsters. And you cast magic and all sorts of crazy things happen. And this, this guy... This guy met an untimely end, I, th I guess. Oh dear. So I played through this mod yesterday, so I know what's to come. It'll probably still, still annoy me and scare me, because... I've got the sound kind of weird. I won't be able to hear things creeping up on me. It would be much better if I could disable the combat music, but unfortunately I cannot, because you have to do some kind of weird glitch to be able to do that. And I'm not willing to bother, especially because I won't be playing this game after I've finished this mod for a second time. Because Skyrim's there, staring at me in the face. Oh, I want to play that game. But I want to do this first. I want to share this. Also, I'd like feedback on this video. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this series or not. I'm at least going to put this video out, but it might be a pain in the arse to do so. And I'm going to shut up for a second while we, we enter the dungeons. Ooh, this would have been great for Halloween, but uh, unfortunately I didn't play it until yesterday. I thought I'd have time to do it, and I did, but not to record. So here we go. I found the dungeons! Oh, I'm the first adventurer, blah blah blah, let's find some information. Cool. Fine. Let's find some information. You, sir, look quite real. I do not trust him. So let's just move forward here. And fight some skeletons! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I, I need to work on my blocking. For Skyrim! They apparently work. They, uh, they did a lot of work on the combat, as far as I'm concerned. That's a good thing, because I like playing a warrior. Even if I am terrible at uh, this whole thing. Well, I told myself I wasn't going to use magic, but... We'll go ahead and use magic. Put my torch back up, because I can't see. Oh, I gave a long, long sword. Let's use that. Because... Uh, where is it? There it is! Cool. There's also an Evalon mace there. Which pretty much looks like a silver mace. We won't fiddle with that. These guys have anything? No, they don't. I'm sure there was a torch around here that I could light. That's another thing that this mod has. I don't know if you heard, but that some door just closed. They get random sounds. Here's the torch. We can ignite it, and then we can turn our torch off. Ooh. Man, 
I love this. And well, 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 what do we have here? A smelly well, of course. It's a dungeon mod. What will we be without a well? Also, another thing these torches can do. You can light them with spells. That's pretty cool. It's a shame the vanilla game never had things like that. But this mod creator is... is awesome. Oh man, I wish I'd played this sooner. Because it's really good. Okay, so let's continue on. Down some stairs. Ooh. And yeah, I'm walking. I don't normally walk in my game. I run around like a lunatic, but my character moves so damn fast that I just it, it, it take away from the atmosphere. So I'm not going to be doing much of running. Anything down there? Hello? 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 Skeletons. Ah. Uh, it's a shame there's not much to say about the combat in Oblivion. We've all played it. The leveling system was broken, so this character is also broken as hell. What do you expect, really? And that, that was another thing that annoyed me about Oblivion. Oh, you can just get knocked over all the time and it's a bit silly. Let's pick that back up. Uh, yep, yeah, another mace. Cool. And the torch. What was that that I heard? Uh, must be hearing things. Very strange. What, did this guy drink himself to death or what? Jeez. Man. Wine worth 8,000. Yes, I think I'll take that. It's really tempting to just drink it. Just because. Who can say they've drank 8,000 gold worth of wine? Not many people, I would expect. This guy looks a bit more stronger. A bit, a bit, a bit more stronger. Yes, Mike. A bit... God damn! Why would you do this? Well, two can play at that game, sir. Paralyze effect resisted, of course. Hmm. What else can I do? Well, I can stab him. By the way, if you're wondering why he keeps lighting on fire, it's because I've got some uh, some enchantment on my shield that uh, deals fire damage and lightning damage and frost damage back to this guy from a mod. I can't remember what the mod's called. Oh, if you've got any questions about mods and stuff, then go ahead and ask. That is a cool looking shield, but it's rusty, so I'm not going to bother with it. This guy doesn't have anything I will repair, though. Uh, and repaired. Right, let's continue through this. And let's light the place up. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't look too pleased. Quite. Quite dead. Why did the vanilla game never have this kind of thing going on? I missed. I thought I heard combat music there. Why did the vanilla game never have this this kind of thing with the skeletons position like that? You know, you never saw it. It was all so generic, which is why this mod stands out as being so good. And yes, I realise I just got that book. That book is this. It is a spell. I will not learn it. It is not very good. That is why I will not learn it. Well, apparently there's nothing down here apart from. A skeleton with a rusty shield and a dead guy. A, 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 a dead guy. So let's just let's leave, shall we? Oh, and uh, eight thousand gold worth of wine. I guess I guess we got something out of that. Let's just get up these stairs yeah, and continue walking again. Ooh. Man, the atmosphere of this mod is just so good. I suppose I'm ruining it by talking, but it's no big deal, is it? Again, thought I heard 
combat music. I did not. A very hard wooden door. Well, because I've cheated to get my lock picking so high. Because, let's face it, lock picking is boring. Let's have a wander in here. I see something. Oh, what is it? It's a ghoul. The hell is a ghoul? You are an ugly, ugly, ugly thing. You, sir? Yes, you? Yes, you're very ugly. I don't like you. You would have scared me if I didn't know you were there. Oh, look, a warhammer. Nobody uses blunts, so I won't either. That was something I wanted to know. What the hell is the story behind ghouls? In in mythology and stuff, where do ghouls come from? What are they exactly? They, they look like deformed people, but hell if I know. Hello? Hello? Just ignore the door sounds. Ah, hello, sir. You, sir, are a skeleton. I have blocked your attack, and you have blocked mine. Man, this commentary yeah. is quite something. I suppose it's, ugh, it's not very interesting watching a warrior play. But that's what you get. Because it's even less interesting watching a mage play, unless it's somebody like Gix, who plays an outer arc. That's interesting. Very very into his character. I've got one of those, I don't need yours. Right, let us continue. Oh, those door sounds get weirder and weirder, I tell you. I never get used to them. Ah, something about bitter green petals. I'm not interested, to be honest, because that note is not very important. Grim. What else is grim? This room. This room is incredibly grim. I mean... Ooh. Is a zombie head and a ghoul head? Lovely. That's just what I wanted on my shelves. This looks like some kind of alchemy place. Oh, I received a delivery. How interesting. And... I will sell a Bosma's ears to Brutus. He's looking for a present for his daughter. Lovely! Lovely. I'm sure his daughter will love the elf ears. Oh, chest. Oh, I need a key. Why do I need a key? Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. A recipe. This is important, by the way. I'm not making much of a guide here, but this is important. I think it's important anyway. Ooh! Ivalon Greaves. I will take those. And when I get a full set, I'll show you the armour. That, that's not very nice. Let's not bother with that. Ah, here we go. The chest arrived yesterday, full of blah blah something. A Dwemma recipe to create explosives. That's the important part. Blah blah blah. There's a mixture that you need. You do need to create this. You need, a, you need an alchemy. You need an alchemy skill to be able to do so. What? What was that? Oh, that was the book apparently showing on this, this jar of stuff. That was a note I just read. Well done, me. Paying attention. Hmm. A note? Slow-acting painful poison. That is exactly what this stuff is. It won't come in useful against undead, but... Still. Hmm. Oh, hold on. There's a torch over there. Let's light this place up. Strange candle. Well, I never. I did not expect that. Oh, hello. You. What happened to you? You seem to have some kind of fungus growing out of your face. I'll take that, for some reason. I might need it. You have a note. Everything's gone wrong. Well, yeah. I'm sure it did. I'm sure everything went wrong, mister. 
We have ancient coins. I'll take those two. I don't know what they're for yet. But I'll take them. Uh, apparently there's a note up here. I start to lose track of all my little notes. Very funny. Sir. I'll uh, just leave you to it, shall I? Yes. Apparently there's more poison up here. Take it. Yeah, got it. So, there's a key to that. And if I remember rightly, one of these notes somewhere around here tells me where to find it. I will find that key in the well. So, shall we jump down the well? That sounds like an excellently stupid idea. Let's let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to the well. Let's get a move on as well. As well. Ho <laughs> ho. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. This this. LP fail will be full of bad puns. Did I already go down there? Yes, I did. That was the wine cellar, wasn't it? So apparently, this well is full of goodies. I don't trust it though, so... So, let's come prepared. And... Yeah, it doesn't look like a good idea. But let's fall down anyway. And load. Uh... Oh lovely. This is this is just what I wanted. Thanks. This is exactly what I wanted from this this well. I hear things moving. It's a corpse. You sir are incredibly ugly. Let me help you with that. Your creepy green eyes. Yeah. That one made me jump a little. Let me stab him. I'll make it fine. And, uh... Let me... Unequip my shield. So that we can have light. I don't trust my corners. Ow. Any more? Any more corpses wishing to become deader than dead? Yes, there's one. Any more over there? No. There are no more over there. Let me stab him. Stab him again. Chop his face off. Ooh. Physics. Physics engine. Lovely. So what are we looking for down here? Oh, that's right. The key to the well. No, the key, the key to the chest that fell in the well. Well, well, well. Delayed reaction there, corpse. Yeah. So let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. And those sounds will never get less creepy. chest key and a teleport scroll. I was wondering how to get out of here. It sounds like a teleport scroll would be just the ticket. Let's leave. Excellent. So where was the alchemist chest? Oh, it was up here. That's right. Let's run there. Let's also equip our shield again. And keep moving. Let's... I haven't heard that sound yet. Oh man. Still weird. Still very weird. Ah! And there is the volcanic ash mixture. Now if we read that recipe properly, we would have found out that... Uh, that we have what we need. That expensive wine turns out to be exactly what we need. But let me just... cheat here. Uh, let's say about 40. Wonderful. And then let's mix this stuff together. Yeah, I think you need about 75 alchemy to be able to do that. And then you can carry on. So let's... Let's just carry on, shall we? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Shouldn't be singing. It's bad etiquette for LPs. I remember that. That was that ghoul. So. Over here, there's a door. 
It is locked. We do not have the key. So we won't open that door. Hey, what do you know? Not opening a door because we can't. That is madness. And up here, we have a spiral staircase. It's a stairway to heaven. No, no it's not. It's a stairway to some rocks. We won't be going up there then. That's a shame. Well, it's not really. It's one less place to explore. Which makes my search much easier. So we'll just descend this staircase and get attacked by a skeleton. Yeah. Learn to block. Oh God. I need to drop another torch. And electrocute some skeletons. And stab them while they spaz around. Are you going to attack me? Come on, come on, attack me. Attack me, I dare you, I dare you. That's right, skeleton man. You are now... Dead of and dead! Good. That was a... a win for me. Let's just ignite that torch. I don't trust that. Let's go into this room instead. And then... freeze a little. find some stuff. And an average chest. Well, no average chest will hold me back. I will find ancient coins in an old diary. And I'll tell you for a fact, I know what's in the old diary because I read it earlier. In it... Ooh, another bottle of that expensive wine. I'm getting attacked. If I could turn the combat music off, I would. Where? You... Are about to die and be knocked over with lightning. So, before I lose track of what I was saying, in the diary, there is information telling us about that guy we found dead in the wine cellar. He's a drunkard, he likes his wine. And there's a hidden passage in the wine cellar that he tells you about in the diary. I'm not going to read it, but just take my word for it. There's a hidden passage in there. We'll go to it later, if I get there. Blessed weapons! Blah 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 blah, put a weapon in there, and a hundred ancient coins. So now we know what the ancient coins are for. But the shrine has been desecrated, so... Obviously, we're not going to do that anytime soon. Door sounds, man. Door sounds. What's in here, though? Just, just get in. My character jumps too high. This cave looks ominous. Let us go through it. Because surely nothing bad will happen. Surely we won't turn up dead like this guy. Mm. I'm dubious about this. Just trying to listen in. I can't hear anything down here. Apart from that barking sound, which was kind of weird. There's a chest. But lots of dead guys. And some bones. That doesn't sound so good. Oh dear. Oh dear. What the hell are you? You are going to feel the wrath of the sword. thing is, it's a damn cool looking model. It's like a ghoul with demon horns. Oh well, make of it what you will. Well that sounds good. Let's have that. And let's try and get a torch back. Because we've seen this tunnel already, let's run! Run, 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 run through it again. Back to the shrine. We're coming up on time. Now, anyone who doesn't have a clue what they're doing, just randomly press this, uh, like I did. Be scared a little by some loud sounds. This 
Axe looks pretty good. I don't like the way he's holding it though, as if he's going to come to life. Mm. So we've got a few minutes. Oh, I forgot I left that torch there. Was there one place I've left to go? I think... Hold on a second. Where am I? I've been all the way around there. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I never went down this way, did I? Still don't trust those statues. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. What do you want? You want to block? Normally those things rush in and attack you. What the? Ow! Look you, I don't appreciate your attacking nonsense. There's an archer over there. Kill it. Kill it with electricity. You dead? You're dead. Ooh. There's a helmet in there. I can actually reach that. And I can reach that two-handed sword. There's a long sword, which we've already got. And a short sword. To be honest, I think you're not supposed to be able to reach those, because why would they be locked up? Who knows? This guy has a bow. I would like this bow. I'm not going to use it, but I'd like it. And we're just going to explore down here a little. Just, just, just get the torch. I don't trust this area. I don't trust it at all. I'm not going that way. I'm going to go this way. Because there's horrible sounds coming from there. I don't like it. I missed. Because I'm useless. I missed again. That targeting thing is useless, man. Hello? 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 Ooh. Now that's not rusty. Let's have that. Yeah, let's, let's not use spells. Okay, I still don't trust him. But he's not coming to life, so it'll be fine, right? Right? Oh, hello, sir. Are you blacksmithing something? There's a torch here. Uh, I need a torch with me. What's his name? It's Professor Griswold! I'm not going to try to do that. Ah, now you're on your ass. And I'll stab you. So I love this mod and I love the atmosphere that it creates. And I know I'm ruining it by talking through it. I'll, if I can find the link to download it, then sure, I'll put it in the description. But you're going to have to tell me if you want me to continue this series, because I'm not sure myself. You don't have anything for me. What was the point of this room? Well, there's some boots. And a short sword. Do I already have a short sword? I don't remember. I do not remember. Ha! Ha! Ah, I knew it. I knew there'd be a lever in here. How could there not be? Oh, hold on. I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting my torch. Let's just run. Let's just run. I wanted to show you something in this video, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make it in time. However, this looks pretty fancy. And this is exactly why I said you shouldn't be able to reach this stuff from the other side of those bars. Because you can get to it from here. Yeah. Let's leave. Let's leave this and quickly get back to where I wanted to go. Where I said I didn't trust earlier. Clearly I'm not going that way. Let's 
gate is open from elsewhere. Well, that's no good. It seems that I'm stuck, which is also no good. And I'm out of time. So with that, I'm going to save. I'm going to stop the recording. And I will see you guys, possibly, next time. But who knows, I might just play Skyrim forever and ever and never come back to this. So, <laughs> don't count on it. But yeah, see you then.